This is a Pele Media Podcast. What's going on, everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in again to Goonies Minute. Goonies Minute is the fan podcast where we explore the film. Goonies Minute is the fan. <laughs> <laughs> you good? Yeah. All right. Goonies Minute is the fan podcast where we carefully explore and dissect the movie Goonies Minute by Minute. I'm Brady. This is Chris. And today we are joined again and for the last time by Crystal Beth. Crystal, thank you so much for joining us this week. But I'm, I gotta say, man, I'm. I'm pretty sad to see you go. I know. As soon as you said that, I, I was I was sad too. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's you, you're no stranger to the movies by minutes uh, family. You you seem to be on all of these shows now, and you also have your own now, which is a uh, fifth element, uh, which you know breaks down the movie the fifth the fifth element minute by minute. What are some of the other shows you've been on? To name a few. I have been on. Let's see. I always try to remember them in order. So I've done Star Wars Minute, Back to the Future Minute, Alien Minute, Indiana Jones Minute, Ghostbusters Minute, Wrath of Khan Minute. Uh, Damn. Oh, gosh. I'm missing two. Airport Minute, and it's so hard if I don't have them all right in front of me. Well, you've done, uh, obviously, Star Wars Minute multiple times, correct? Yes. Yeah, because... That's the one I've I've done the most for. Yeah. And let's see, we've this is number three for us. We've had you on Ghostbusters Minute. Oh, Jurassic... oh my God. Oh, five minutes of trouble. Oh, yeah. Big Trouble in Little China. That's right. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, my gosh. But I really want to do Lord of the Rings Minute, and I really want to do Harry Potter Minute. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Harry Potter just started recently, I think. Yes. Um, those are the two. But, man, they – man, the, whew, I don't know how they do it. They've got their work cut out for them because producing, you know, a few of these things at once, it takes it out of you. And so for uh, some of these guys who have just so many of them going on at once, and not just little movies, I'm talking like massive franchises like Lord of the Rings, for example, or Harry Potter. Just, yes. When do you sleep? Yeah. You know? Okay. And uh, where else can our listeners find you online? You can find me on the website for my minute podcast, thefifthelementminute.com. And you can also find me on Twitter at the Crystal Beth. And if you like video games, you can listen to Unlimited Lives Radio, which is my video game podcast on iTunes. On iTunes. And iTunes. So you're, you also do stand up uh, in, in New York. Is there anywhere that people uh, can go to hear you on a regular basis, or do you have a show um, coming up or anything? Well, the comedy club that I used to do a bi weekly show at just closed. So right now I'm just sort of flying everywhere, but you can catch me at. Uh, the Creek in the Cave pretty often, or the Pit uh, pit Loft, or, you know what, those are probably the two, yeah, like those, those, those two are the top two. Awesome. Well, cool. I know next time I'm in New York, I'm definitely going to have to come come check it out, for show. Sure. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, if y'all are ready, let's get into the minute. Let's get into the minute. Yeah. In the previous minute, we saw the gang head off to the attic, much to Mikey's dismay. At 14 minutes, we see Bran stepping into the attic. He fixes a light bulb, illuminating the rest of the attic. As the light begins to fill up the rest of the attic, we see that it is adorned with pirate paraphernalia and memorabilia. At 14 minutes and 20 seconds, Mikey is making his way through his father's endless pirate collection. Chunk has put on a captain's outfit. Data spins a ship's wheel. Bran has found an old musket. At 14 minutes and 28 seconds, a huge bolt of thunder strikes outside the house, scaring everyone in the attic. At 14 minutes and 43 seconds, Mikey continues to rant about his friends always breaking things. He suddenly hears his name being whispered from behind a painting. At 14 minutes and 50 seconds, a tongue protrudes through a face in the painting. At 14 minutes and 52 seconds, Mikey pulls the painting back to find Mouth standing behind it. He yells at Mouth about having ruined the painting. Mouth yells at him about having ruined the joke. At 14 minutes and 58 seconds, we see that Bran has turned his attention to a book about pirates in the corner. And thus ends Minute 14 of The Goonies. Uh, You know, they are basically just had gotten into the attic, and Mikey again is over and over and over again saying, this is dad's stuff, this is dad's stuff. So it's another theme of he's so concerned about his dad. Yeah, which just shows how much heart this kid has. Uh, but speaking of his dad and all of this stuff, it, this really makes you wonder 
uh, who, who Mr. Walsh is, like what, what he's all about, because he seems to have an affinity for pirates and everything with, that we've seen downstairs. Yeah. And then, of course, all of this pirate memorabilia and paraphernalia all throughout the attic. Like, uh, I don't know, man. That, that would just be interesting to kind of pick that guy's brain. And, see and then you see the, another big uh, ship wheel. Yeah, there's the ship's wheel. And, uh, yeah. And everything. All right, so the painting that Mouth is sticking his tongue through when he's trying to get Mikey's attention. I looked up and down for what that painting was, and I could not find it uh, anywhere. And some people were saying they think it was just produced for the movie, that it's not actually like a you know piece of art, any famous piece of art or anything like that. Uh, and somebody said they think it's actually a poster for like one of the old Errol Flynn or Douglas Fairbanks pirate films. But I can't see oh, it well. Oh, that would make sense. Yeah, that would make sense. I can't see it well enough, though, to see if it's – that or if it's uh, a renaissance era painting which you would be able to tell those two apart pretty well pretty easily yeah they've got all kind of stuff going you got yeah. you've got chunk that puts on the pirate outfit and then do do you know what that cape you see that the the words uh the letters yeah, cape, cape but i don't think you see the end of that no no i don't think so either because no. i was Not trying to see anyway you know, it's kind of weird. I'm watching it, and then I move my head to the left, like somehow I could actually see yeah, it yeah, on yeah. screen. <laughs> you know, what it's like that's not it? gonna work. Let's see. There's is it Rosemary's Baby or some movie where a girl uh, walks to the end of a hall and sits on a bed to take a phone call, but she's just covered up a little bit by the doorway in the frame. Well, apparently, whenever the movie premiered, everyone in the theater like ducked their heads over <laughs> to see if they could see her. So. Oh, I love that. Yeah, I know. That's funny. I like when you react. Uh, like how you would actually react to something when it's happening yeah. in a movie. Like if something starts to turn and your head starts to go with it, or even if you're – that happens to me all the time when I'm playing a video game. Yeah. If I'm trying to go a certain way, my whole body will start tilting towards it. <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. I remember uh, making fun of my brothers when they were growing up because – Two of my older brothers were such gamers that they were always just kind of like leaning back and forth when they're looking at the TV playing a video game. Like that's, you know, they're <laughs> feeling the, the movement of the car that they're driving or if they're making a corner or something like that. So uh, I would get the problem I had when I'd play video game for hours is the right like part of my traps, you know, like mm -hmm. on my neck and stuff. Your shoulders. Yeah, yeah shoulders. It would get yeah. so tight. The pain. Oh, really? You know, but oh, hey, it man. Was worth it. Yeah, it was worth it. You, you, I guess you only find that in like the 3D games, not the side-scrolling stuff like Mario Brothers or whatever. Maybe no. No, I would yeah. have. Uh, uh, you know, I, all the way from the Atari 2600 <laughs> to the most recent gaming, I would have that pain. Yeah. Do you still you know? game? And that's been a while. It's been a while. Yeah, I got you. Well, it's been a few to, years. Back to Goonies. Um, let's get into the minute. Let's get into the minute. So yeah, I, you got to wonder where Mikey's dad would have come across the Chester Copper Pot uh, front page. I, um, what is it with this? I picture the dad being, uh, an explorer of some sort. That was one of the treasure hunters that was trying to find this. And he searched his whole life and then he met his wife and his wife was like, you have to give that all up. Yeah, if you want to have kids. yeah seriously. And he was like, all right, I'll do it. And then he puts everything up in his attic to never think of it again, but he'll go up there sometimes and wonder about it. And he's just been hoping, hoping and hoping that one of his kids will go up there and pick up the mantle where Damn. he left off. That's, That's what I think. Probably the most educated um, thought process of what <laughs> might actually be happening that yeah. I've ever heard in my entire life. Jesus, that was really good, <laughs> and that's pretty impressive. Um, yeah, I'm serious. You <laughs> know, that that actually. Oh, thank you. Uh, I've I've never thought of it that way, and that's 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 brilliant. <laughs> yeah, for real. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so, See you later. <laughs> okay, bye guys. <laughs> it ends off. now. It ends now. <laughs> Goonies by the 14th minute. <laughs> yeah, Have a nice day. Exactly. No, but seriously, that, that, that makes total sense. It could be something yeah. like yeah, that. Yeah, it, it absolutely could be. Um, they and, also, Brand says they uh, were looking, uh, that everyone was looking at it during when their parents were their age. Yeah. Yeah, he that's does. That's a line in this See, minute, I believe. And that's or so in the next minute. Cool, because like, there's so much little bits of backstory there that this, uh, you know, this movie could, I don't, I don't want to say it could benefit from it, but... This is the kind of movie that could have uh, little offshoot movies, side stories, a sequel, a prequel, things like – not necessarily oh, a yeah. sequel per se, but um, to be able to explore other stuff like that. Or the Chester Copperpot story, you know? Yeah. Would be such a, such a fun idea. The, ch it, the Chester Copperpot, definitely, mm -hmm. there could be uh, something that you could make out of that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, but then oh, again – They would have to do it soon though before uh, everyone that likes it is old. 
Yeah, and and I'll tell you this right now. I don't think our friend <laughs> is yeah, is is gonna uh, yeah, Corey. I don't, think I don't know how yeah. much longer he's got for this world. New. Oh gosh, that poor man. I know. Oh, I, I have to wait. No, hold on. I have to ask uh, Crystal a question. Okay. Did you see his music video or music performance on Good Morning America or the Today Show? No. Okay, uh, you have to send that yeah, to her. I'm gonna send it to you. It it's... is. He's trying to be like kind of a rap guy now. Oh. Yeah. It's so embarrassing. It's so it's bad. bad. It, it, no, Corey. No. It it, it 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 needs to be. You need to see it. Yeah. For real. Yeah. I'll send you a link to it. Nah, and I will remind him. Yeah, he will. will remind me. All right, but back to it. Uh, but oh yeah, okay. Another thing I think that's interesting is. Uh, when Mouth tells Mikey, I can't believe you have something so cool, you know, and he tell because of the, all the stuff in the attic. I thought that was pretty interesting. It's yeah. like the the, revel, the the realization of, of how cool the stuff that they have up there. And then, of course, you see Brant. That that's when the minute ends is Brant starting to look through that book uh, kind of slowly page by page. That's kind of telling the story of what's going on there. Yeah, absolutely. I also like how, even though Mouth is like, I mean, not Mouth, yeah, Mouth is like, uh, this is so cool. Mikey's not like, oh, wow, you think it's cool? He's like, this, get out of here. Get out. Like, he doesn't, he doesn't uh, back down from it. Like, oh, the cool kid likes it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, one thing that I did think is funny is when Mouth's behind the picture and it's his tongue's <laughs> in there and Mikey's like, gotcha, when he pulls the, yeah. Painting for it. I always thought that was weird. Like, it was, I was like, you got him? You knew he was there. You didn't find him. He yeah, was talking I've never, like, I've never caught that. You know, I, no, I get what you're saying there. It's like, okay, really? You just thought that that might have been a tongue there? You know, it's like yeah. you were surprised Wait, by I that? Never, I never saw that. He said, I thought he was just pissed that he... Uh... He's like, gotcha. And it's like... No, she's right And then he's that. like, you ruined the joke, which is, you know, the story of my life. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's just like... What a weird thing to say when you know your friends back there and the yes. friends doing it to Thank get you. your attention. And he's like, "Yes, you, you got me. That's the idea." You know, but I do like his uh, response: "Is you're ruining my joke." Yeah, that's pretty funny. And you're ruining my joke. You're ruining the painting, and you're ruining my joke. <laughs> you know what's weird is I, you, you see Corey Feldman age in this movie. Like in the first scene when he comes into the into the room, he just looks so young, and and then by the time the movie's over. He just looks like he's aged. I know, right? But next time you watch the movie, look out for that because it just seems like he uh, – he, by the time he's like in the water, uh, the well, screaming about, I'm taking them all back. He just looks right? so much older this than he does. This is my here. wish. Well, look, I tell you what. If that's it uh, for you guys, that's all that I have. But Crystal, I'm so sad to see you go, man. This is it. This is uh, this is our last day with you. I know. On Goody's Farewell. I know. And you to you and you. <laughs> there you go. Now – um. But no, before we before we send uh, off, tell everybody again where they can find you. Okay, you can follow me on Twitter at the Crystal Beth, or you can follow my Minute Podcast on Twitter, which is Fifth Element, or you can go to the Fifth Element dot com to listen to my podcast, or you can go to iTunes and Google, or no, iTunes and search Unlimited Lives Radio, and that's my other podcast. I love podcasts. So, uh, tell explain to everybody what Unlimited Lives is. Unlimited Lives is a comedic video game podcast. So we talk about gaming news, gaming history, new stuff that's coming out, technology, and we stream it live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Unlimited Lives Radio every Thursday at 6 p.m. It's really fun. It's a really, really nice community. We did a Secret Santa this year with all the listeners of the podcast, and that's really, really fun. We call it the Treasure Goblins after uh, Diablo 3. Yeah, that's, I love that name. Love that name. Well, all right. I tell you what, since it's Friday, uh, I'm going to go ahead and let Chris uh, send us off because he hates doing that. <laughs> so does anybody ever ha <laughs> <laughs> So does anybody have anything else today? That's it for me. All right. Nothing else? Well, thank you so much, Crystal Beth, for joining us. Thank you, Brady. For both of them, I'm Chris. And remember, Goonies never say die. I tell you what, just for the sake of, uh, for, for yeah, editing sake, I'm going to do that. Gonna, do that yeah. so, yeah. Why don't you do that? All right, Crystal. Although mine's more fun. It is a lot more fun. <laughs> well, 
Crystal, again, thank you so much for coming on. We really appreciate it. And we've had a lot of fun of this week. A whole lot of fun. And uh, maybe try and get you back on before the end of the, the run of the show. But um, Yeah, I'd love it. Awesome. Awesome. Well, I tell you what, for right now, I'm Brady. This is Chris. I'm Crystal. Remember, Goonies never say die. <laughs> Goonies Minute is a fan-supported podcast. If you like the show, then leave us a review on iTunes. You can find us at GooniesMinute.com, Facebook.com slash Goonies Minute, Twitter.com slash Goonies Minute, and at Instagram at Goonies Minute. You can contact us at GooniesMinute at gmail.com. You've been listening to a Pele Media Podcast. For premium content and exclusive podcasts, visit us at Patreon.com slash Pele Media. Check us out on Facebook at facebook.com slash Pele Media and follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash Pele Media. Yeah.